Today I'm gonna go over my camp kitchen and what I use when I cook while we're out camping. So what are we having tonight? <laughs> sure, ask me as I put food in my mouth. Of course, I'm going to, of course. Of course. That's what you do is you always ask somebody just as they eat. When I was a waitress, that was the trick. You ask them when they put a, a bite of mouth up. But put a you, bite of mouth? Bite of mouth, exactly. You ask them how things are when they put food in their mouth, then they can't complain. Anyways, we are having marinated mushrooms tonight. Mm. The core of my camp kitchen would be my Everest camp stove. Um, it's a two burner. I used to have the Coleman camp stove, but my biggest downfall of that one was I could not control the heat and things would get way too hot. I'd burn things. Um, or if I try to turn it way low, the gas would go out. So we upgraded to this Everest camp stove last year and it has been a great addition to our camp camp setup. Um, so it just connects right here. We've got like a three, four foot cord that connects right up to our propane tank on the trailer. So this is kind of my main go-to area. Obviously we've got the side table off the trailer and I usually have a side table here that I use to prep my food. Um, so I've got it all ready to go. And then I can just put things on the stove as I need to. So let's go take a look at my bin of all my cooking supplies that I take along. So definitely have to have the cutting board. Do lots of cutting and chopping of vegetables for our salads. Um, for our stuff that we put in our um, egg dishes in the morning, gotta have my cutting board. So in my utensil bin that was inside there, I've got a couple different knives that I use. I was able to find a new pan. I don't know if you remember me talking about this last year, but mine that was like this before warped. And every time I'd move it on the, um, the griddle, it would like bounce back and forth. So I found this on Amazon last year. Um, I like this because it's got edges here. And then it's got a little spot here to collect grease. So if I'm making bacon or something like that, um, or if I have eggs, I'm not quite level. It goes into here before it runs off of the pan. So I found this to be a great pan. We'll put the link down below. I've taken a couple old, um, actually one old tablecloth and cut it. So if we get a rainy night and the seats on our picnic table are wet, we can set this out on the picnic table benches and have something dry to sit on. See here, good measuring cup. This is a three quart pan. I um, use it for warming food up, um, boiling water if we need to, comes with a lid. So that's a great piece to take along. Now this set I got many moons ago and I cannot find it on Amazon again um, but they're both collapsible so collapsible bowl along with a collapsible strainer um, when i've looked for them recently you'll get two bowls by themselves or two strainers why you need two strainers i don't know so i like this set because it's one strainer in a bowl so if i'm mixing up um pancake mix or i'm serving a salad of some sort i can put it in here if i'm making pasta or rice i can drain it with my strainer So from Matt's backpacking days, we have a little um, kit um, that he can attach to this. And we can have just a little miniature um, stove. So if we want to quick warm up some hot water for making oatmeal or something like that on our last morning, don't want to get all the pots and pans out, we can just quick um, get this going. And then we have a little Imusa. Um, it's a big mug. I use it more for just heating up some water. If I'm making some hot chocolate or hot chai in the morning, this is a great way to just warm up some water real quick. Um, all right, when I don't need to get my whole griddle out, I use my cast iron pan. So when I just, the mushrooms we had tonight, I'll make in that. Um, so yeah, cast iron is used for many different meals. Heavy duty, it's one for Matt's grandma, so there's definitely some sentimental value to this one. It's well seasoned from many years ago, so we enjoy using this on our camp out trips too. 
All right, I also have some tablecloth um, things to try to keep the tablecloth in place. They're always popping off, I lose them. So we actually came up with a new solution this year. We'll show you that in just a second. But as I'm putting things back into this bin, I don't want the different pans scratching each other, especially my cast iron. So I've got some shelf liners here that I've cut to size. I'm able to put my saute pan, and then this fits perfectly for my, um, my bowl and my strainer. Put my lid on there. And then put another one of these in place. Put that right in there, and I've got all my tub stuff that I need. So we've camped like this for, this is our fourth season so far. I found that these are the items I need for the type of camping we do and the cooking I do. Um, there's really nothing more that I need. So these are the table clips that I grew up using. We've had them many years with camping. I feel like they always want to pop off, especially when people get in the table. If they tug on the tablecloth, pop and they end up on the ground. So this year I found something new. Um, it's so uh, genius. Uh, uh. Who, who found them? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Who found Matt them? Who found, found them? them? Who found them? I think I found them too. Okay. Anyways, we found them. Um, it's just basically a piece of elastic that you're able to wrap around the table. And it stays in place. It's a giant rubber band. It really is. Um, so I think they were like 6 or $7 on Amazon. It's kind of pricey for a rubber band. So once we figured out when we got them and realized what they are, we realized we probably could have gone to... The local fabric shop and picked up some elastic ourselves. So that's an idea for you that you could go to the fabric store. <laughs> no, so it came instead before. of Matt trying buying <laughs> Instagram late night purchases. Right. So for six or seven dollars, it came with four of them. Um, all the tables we've been at so far, um, they don't fly off when it gets windy, and we have definitely had some wind at our last trip, um, and it works out great. All right, so you know how when you're scrolling through Instagram, various ads come up? Well, this was one of those ads. Matt saw it and brought it to my attention, and we decided, hey, sure, let's give it a try, see if it would be a good fit for us. It's called a Sideo Crate. Um, it's about the size of a half a crate. I feel like it might be a little bit wider, but the height is about half of a normal crate. Um, it comes with a crate, and then it has a hard bottom on it. So it has dividers in it, so it helps to divide things and kind of organize it, because I like things organized. So the dividers are helpful to make it fit for whatever you're putting in it. Um, and then along the sides, which is kind of cool, it has a numbering system. That way you know that you're matching it up from side to side and you're straight and not going cockeyed. We have found that I put my silverware and some glasses on this side, our paper plates and hard plates that we use while we're eating go in the middle. Now we have a couple of services and bowls on this side. Um, I've seen some people put their pots and pans in here. If we needed to put more stuff in, we could probably put our plates this way and have a bigger space here for other things. Um, so it really depends on what you want to put in it. So far we've used this on about two or three campouts and I've really liked it. When we're traveling, it is stored in the back galley and then when we get to the campsite I just put it on the picnic table and everything's accessible and ready to go when we're eating our meals. Ooh. How can someone pick up one of these and what were the options? Do you remember when you ordered it? So you could either do the tall one which is like double the height and then it had more dividers with it or you had this size. Um, we'll put the link down below of how to, to reach out to this company and order one. Um, if you get this size, you get two dividers. You could order additional dividers if you feel like it would be necessary for you. Um, do you remember how many color choices? I don't. There was quite a few, though. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You can even do clear. It did come with a lid, um, but for the way that we're using it, I didn't feel a lid would be necessary. I really don't like lids. I feel like I'm always having to take them on and off. So many of the storage things you see in our trailer do not have their lids because I don't want to mess with them. And this was not sponsored. Um, roughly, how much was it? I think it was like sixty dollars. So it's well, not cheap. I wanted to say sure. seventy-five. I don't know. We'll put the price in the video. We'll put the price down with the link. Yeah. So it's definitely not cheap, but it's sturdy. It fits and works for our needs. Um, 
We'll see how it goes the rest of the summer. We store it in the galley, so let's go take a look. So when we're traveling, it fits right in here. It has a little lip here, and actually it fits perfectly. That lip fits inside there, and that other part goes above the wood piece, and slides right in. Then on this other side, we have a kit from Ikea. Um, I just hold all of my longer utensils, the, the knives and the spatulas and the tongs and all of that good stuff. And that slides right in here. And it Tetris is just perfect the way I like, so it doesn't move around much. It's all about the Tetris. So now let me show you how we clean our dishes. So when we're washing the dishes, we use the 10 liter jerry can. Um, it's a good size. The other one is so big. It gets really heavy when you're moving it around, so I like the smaller size. We got a rechargeable faucet that this past winter. Push the button here, it stays on, push it again and it stops. Um, then our son 3D printed the screw on lid that this attaches into. So it's worked out really well for doing the dishes. Dishes are so easy, I don't have to do them anymore. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's because you have a camera in your hands. Otherwise, you would be helping. Yeah. Just a little bit of water in with the soap. Using as minimal amounts as we can. We'll rinse them all down. And then we'll get them the soapiness off. And I've got a little tub underneath that's collecting the extra water that we can get rid of when we're all done. So we don't make a muddy mess underneath the spout. So for cleaning the dishes, use very little water. So when I'm doing the dishes, a um, couple things that I have gotten along the way. This one is just a regular Rubbermaid dish pan. Um, I like this one actually because it's a little bit wider and um, my um, griddle pan can fit in this really well. And then I have a collapsible bowl also. So when we're... Collapsible tub. Yes, not a bowl, a tub, collapsible tub. Um, so it takes up less space, which is nice. Um, then when I need to use it, just put it out like that. Or it just fits nicely inside of the Rubbermaid one. Um, and then when I'm doing dishes, I have one of these dish claws. It's one of the Swedish type ones. It holds a ton of water, which is nice. Um, and then you just set it out and dry. And I've got just a little meshy thing to help too. So these are my wash claws that I tend to use while we're camping. Um, and then just have some towels for drying the dishes. Works out well. So another piece to eating outside is the tablecloth. Last year I was looking for a new tablecloth and came across this one. Um, it's fabric. It made me a little bit nervous, but I thought, oh, let's give it a try. And this has been amazing. It's been one of my favorite things that I have purchased for my whole camping cookout set. Um, when you spill something on it, it doesn't soak in. It just stays a bubble on the top of it. So it makes it easy for wiping off any spills that you may have. Um, it's just a great all around tablecloth. And then when I get home, I can wash it if I need to. Um, but most of the time you can just wipe off any spots that have had a spill on them and it stays nice and clean. All right, so in my utensil bin, um, especially with getting the new trailer this year, I went through everything again to decide what do I need, what don't I need. Um, I thought I didn't need tongs. So last camping trip, we did not have the tongs. As you see, they're back in the, in the pack of tools. So the reason the tongs are back in is unfortunately, my spatula got ruined. We made some bacon and I was moving the hot bacon and grease around and melted my spatula. I was very disappointed. I realized I really need my tongs back in the mix of things. So now put in a different tong or different spatula. What are we doing? Showing the tongs. <laughs> People know what tongs are. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I quickly threw in a different spatula. I think I need to get rid of this one, which I'm bummed about 
because it was a nice spatula. So one spatula, and then I've got a metal spatula. So if we're doing something on the grill, we've got a metal one too. Then I have a serving spoon. So if we're doing kind of baked beans or pasta or whatever, we've got a serving spoon. Lighter, because you know, Matt likes fire and lights. Oh, fire, fire. Ooh. Oh, I don't like fire that much. All right, go. You like lights? Yeah. Fire, lights, they all kind of go the same. Can opener. You never know when you're gonna have a can that needs to be opened. Got my whisk, making pancakes, anything like that. Got my whisk. And I have three knives. Got my little paring knife. Probably use this one the most of all of them. For sure. So sometimes this ends up in my side yoke crate. So it's at the picnic table. Got a bread knife or serrated knife. Don't use this one quite as much, but I have it just in case we do need it. And then my chef knife. This is probably my next most common thing I use out of here. Um, what else? And then I've got my ringer. So to go along with my cast iron pan, this is a great way to clean it with some water. Get the, if there's anything crusty on there, this helps scrub it away. I have a little level in here. Put this on my little side table. Make sure that I'm somewhat level. Kind of depends on how level the trailer is too when it gets hooked up to that little side um, clamp thing. Then spices. So I want to have my spices along, but I don't need like a whole bottle of a spice. It doesn't need to take up that much space. So we found these little GSI spice containers. Um, one side's a little bit bigger than the other. I've got salt and pepper in this one. In this one, I've got some garlic salt and some cinnamon. I'm thinking of getting another one of these to add a couple extra spices to go along with us when we go camping. But for the most part, those are the four most common ones I use. Um, they just are whoops, nice and small and don't take up too much space. And one last thing, a can opener or a bottle opener. So now let's see here, five alarm. Must be something that Matt got from, from someone along the way. Mm -hmm. That looks like a fire related thing. Yep. Look, it even looks like a little fire ax. So that is the utensils that I use when we go camping. So that's an overview of my kitchen setup while we're camping. Um, what is something that I don't have in my set that you feel is very important that you take along when you go camping? Let's get a discussion going. With that, thanks for checking this out today. Get out and do some camping. See you next time. Bye.